Hi, my name is Mike Chan. I am the lead builder and repair tech here at Islander Reels. And today I'm going to be showing you how to maintain your reel. So if you're fishing a lot, I would, main, I would open up your reel every couple trips. Check out everything, make sure everything's good. Make sure the oil's where it should be, the grease is where it should be, and the wear is normal and nothing's wrong with your reel. If you're just, if you're just uh, you know, weekend warrior type fisher, um, you can do it pretty much at the end of your season before you put it away. It's very important to upkeep your reel because there's a lot of moving parts in these reels and uh, they need grease and oil in certain spots to maintain like the full peak performance of the, of the reel. A lot of people don't open their Islander. They think it's very complicated and, and hard. It's actually super, super easy. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So this is the box that comes in. This right here is your manual. And in the manual, it'll have all the places to put. Basically, all the stuff I'm gonna show you how to do right now, this manual will show you how to do it. If you have lost this, um, you could get a new one off of us or you could just go online and we have them all online at our website. This is your Islander reel. This is our gold MR3, kind of like our flagship reel. And uh, super easy to go into here. So let's get a screwdriver. We use uh, the wide flat, the flat blade so it doesn't ping up the center screw there. And just open it up. So that is your retaining screw. This is your drag knob and it comes with the washer greased to it. Or it might not be, so just put that on there. Um, next up we have the spring and then we just open it. This is the spool and this is the frame here. So no more parts will be coming out of the spool. Everything's gone there now. And for the frame, all you got to do to get to the clutch, just get some sort of little tool and just pop off the O-ring and then just grab the clutch and just pull it straight off. So this here is our Islander Re Reel Maintenance Kit. You can get this online at our web store. Comes with the oil that we recommend and use on our reels and the grease that we recommend using our reels. It's super lube, oil and grease. Also comes with a little cleaning pad and some uh, cleaning foamy things that are really good. So yeah, you can just get off all the grease, that stuff. Get off all the dirty oil and dirty grease off these pieces. And you come in here and do the same thing. Get all the old grease out of there. All the old oil and stuff off of there. Come back on this side. Get all the grease out of there too. And then your clutch. To keep the teeth on your clutch uh, in the best shape they can be, you want to keep oil or keep grease on there. So you want to get all the grease off of there too now. Now usually this will be a repair reel, so it will be like discolored grease. The only way you want to do is you want to check your bearings to see if they're still good. You can usually do that by running your finger along them. If they're not super crunchy and super gross, then they're still good. So there's three bearings in your reel here. If you, keep the prop, if you keep your reel properly greased and oiled, the bearings will last a lot, a lot, a lot longer than if you just go crazy with your reel. So now I'm going to start putting it back together. We'll use the grease here. Just want to put a layer under the clutch on the spindle here. You can work that in with anything you like. I use a toothpick. I travel that up the shaft a bit and into the threads. Then you take your clutch back and just kind of messily goop it on there. And then you can come back in with the other side of this tool. Fill these cavities. Clean off the excess there. 
and then just pop it back on. When you pop it back on, if you're right-handed, put both palms to the right side. So this palm to the right side, and this palm to the right side. Just drop it on. Throw the O-ring back on. You can clean off a little excess, keep your reel nice and clean. And then to the spool. Spool's the same thing. A little bit of grease on the inside and on the actual bearing itself. Again, you can use any tool you like. I use a toothpick. Just like that. And we'll take the oiler. And we're going to oil the clicker. Just a couple dabs. Get that going. So the grease we use on the bearings to kind of protect the bearings. Um, these reels are used in salt water and that will give it an extra layer of protection. We use oil on the moving parts, like the clicker here. We don't want to we don't want to grease that because it'll muffle the sound. Uh, we also use the oil on the on the pawls here. They're the moving parts also. You don't want to grease those either. They might muck it up and get a little grungy. And the grease just basically is a protection agent. So next you want to fill up the middle cavity. This is a very important cavity. You want to get a good amount in there and work that in. So you want it at least about halfway covered into that cavity. And then we can close this up. Just simply put it back together. And then we could take the drag spring, and throw that in there. And then sometimes these will come apart. So this is the, the drag washer. It goes on top of the drag spring. And then the drag knob just goes right on. And then the retaining screw. So when you put the retaining screw in, uh, a lot of people have had them fall out and things before when they've done this in the past. There is a lip on this drag knob here. So you have to put it down below. So give it a good halfway, halfway turn almost. Get it right down there so this lip doesn't hit the bottom of this retaining screw. Because then you'll think you'll have it tightened, but it's actually not tightened. Just close that up. And just back it back off. And then you pretty much just give it a good clean over and that's pretty much real maintenance on the Wuchim reel. So once you have your reel together, it's uh, if it's all working fine, that's great. If it's not, we can always phone us and we can walk you through any kind of problems you might have for any of your reels. Um, a lot of times it's a really easy fix. Or sometimes just consult the manual to see where things should be going back in place. It shows you step-by-step step how to put it back together.